Hello everyone, I'm Charlene, a Durham College LIT student. I'm here to tell you about strategic planning, specifically SWOT analysis. Strategic planning is done to support the mission statement of the organization. It is about making long-term strategies, which are regularly reviewed to fit in with our ever-evolving and changing environment. One of the ways to help plan an organization's long-term goals is through SWOT analysis. Through SWOT analysis, you will identify your organization's strengths, weaknesses, threats, and opportunities. Strengths and weaknesses are internal factors that an organization is able to control, such as policies and procedures and organization structure. Opportunities and threats are outside factors which are uncontrollable. They either enable or disable an organization from accomplishing their mission. They could be things such as changes in legislation or a diverse community population. SWOT analysis was developed in the 1960s and became popular because of its simplicity. However, there are challenges. One of the challenges of a brainstorming session is results are subject to the planner's judgment. It is also important to consider the patron's point of view. This will ensure that the capabilities perceived by the organization are recognized and valued by the customers. This is done by sending out customer satisfaction surveys. Once you have all your data, you need to compare your results. Balance out the weaknesses with the strengths. For example, you can use specially trained staff to teach new technology or use budget rollover money to provide extra staff training if needed. With all of this information, your organization will benefit when planning how to achieve their mission. You will be able to make and execute a balanced plan. Thanks for watching. This has been Charlene, a Durham College LIT student, and I hope you're able to use SWOT analysis in your strategic planning.